What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I know I look crazy, but you just caught me in the middle of a TikTok. <laughs> I was just showing TikTok how to blend your eyeshadows, which is what I'm going to show you today in a more in-depth and slower pace because you know TikTok is everything is just pretty fast. So yeah, that's what we're going to do today. So for those of you who don't know, hi, my name is Madonna and um, you can find me as Madonna MUA on Instagram as well as TikTok. And I'm just a makeup artist who loves teaching how to do stuff. <laughs> No, really, I do love teaching, so thank you so much for clicking on this video, and I hope you learned something new. So, I'm going to show you the basics, like how to blend your eyeshadows to filth, like just how to make sure that they are blended. I'm gonna do so, we're going to zoom you in so you can kind of get a closer look on how to get this done. First things first, if you don't know how to blend your eyeshadows, I suggest going for more natural colors, um, kind of like this one is more like reds and burgundies and pinks. Um, neutrals nudish colors because it's a different story when we're trying to cut when we're trying to blend actual colors like blues and greens and yellow it's a whole different ball game like a different technique a different way of going about it so i'm just going to show you the technique of how to layer them where to layer them the brushes you should be using i'm going to show you the brushes that i am using and the brushes that you should reach for when it comes to blending your eyeshadows just because it'll make life easier you know and these are it these are the brushes, okay? Um, these all happen to be a Morphe brushes. Basically, a big fluffy brush. I just use these on my eyeshadows, so that's why they look a little dirty. But you need like a big fluffy brush like this guy right here. This happens to be a Morphe M441. You're gonna need a um, medium sized brush like this one right here. It's kind of like the same thing as the bigger one because it's just as fluffy, but it's a medium-sized one. This one happens to be a Morphe M433. I have a lot of Morphe brushes because they're just pretty cheap. <laughs> so, and then this one is the next one I use. It's also a Morphe M433. Oh, wait, is it the same thing? Oh, it is. Okay, it just seems like it's like packed differently. All right, well... A medium sized brush and a smaller one like this. This is an M506. Basically, um, just so that you can have a little bit more definition. I'm going to show you how to use these brushes and where they should go. For this look, I'm using the Nude Medium from Huda Beauty. Because it's just a lot of like nice pink colors. Very natural, especially if you are of a medium skin tone. And it's just an overall very pretty and easy to blend eyeshadow palette. So. I am going to show you what I did. So basically, what you want to do is take first your transition shade. So you're going to get the big fluffy brush like this. And you're going to dip into the lighter colors. So that could be like one of these two. Or even that one. Right? Because this would be obviously deeper than these two. So I'm going to go in with this one. And this is going to go... Let me head this way. All over the eye. Basically, you just kind of blend it out. Um, onto the eyelid. I don't pack eyeshadow on um, for a really nice blended look because they don't just take longer to blend the edges out. So that's why fluffy brushes and just going in and blending it is the best way to go if you're trying to learn how to blend your colors, how to blend your eyeshadows. The whole packing the eye color on technique, we can do that once we get this down. Once you know how to blend your shadows, then we can move on to those type of techniques. But for now, this is for beginners only. Okay. <laughs> Don't come for me. This is an old school, traditional way of blending your eyeshadows. So you're going to take your transition shade and you just kind of go in and blend it out. You see no harsh lines. And I'm not going past my brow bone. As you see, I left that bare. Now that we have that on, I'm going to go in with my... Um, crease color is that what yeah i'm gonna go in with the crease color and so for the look that i did on this eye i went in with my medium shape my medium um size brush and i'm going in with this color right here and this one goes basically in your eye socket so like that area that you get like that you can kind of like dig in you know what i mean so it's like the eye socket area and that's where this color goes. And you're going to just only focus in that area. 
and it's okay if you go over don't you worry about that because this is the trick I'm going to show you the trick on how to not make it look like it's all over the place so once you have the color basically how you want it um, you're going to go back with your meet your larger size brush okay you don't need to add on any more product and all you're going to do is go around that and blend that out the next color that you're going to add on this is going to be the deeper color and this is what's going to smoke out the eye and um yeah basically just to make it look nice and smoky um you're going to take the um I guess it was the same brush but basically something slightly smaller that can fit in this area of the eye and just this area of the eye you're not going past that so you're going to dip into the deepest shade which is this one that I used on today's look and what we're doing here and we face this way is kind of just kind of pack it in but I also blended it out pack it in only this area because this is where I want it to look the deepest. And don't worry if you went past it because again, we're going to do that same trick where you take the brush before. Watch, I'm going to show you. So instead of the big fluffy brush, this time you're taking the one you used your cre crease color in. And you could, if you want to, dip a little bit into the palette, like one little like poop, right onto the shadow palette, and you're going to blend around that. Oh, I have some fallout. Keep on adding, and just adding it in just that little tiny space. And you're going to keep doing that until you get where you want to be. Go back in to the other color and just kind of blend around that. Okay, so I think I got it where I want it to be on both sides. I can always go back and, and add more color. But so to keep going, now we're going to do the lower lash line. So what I like to do is I don't really like to dip into like the very first shade. I don't even care for it for whatever reason. I always just stick to like the, the crease color and the one, the smoke out color. So the one on the outer V. So what I'm going to do is go into the medium brush with the second color I used on my crease. I'm going to go ahead and do that to the lower lash line and just kind of connect it to the end of the eye. I keep going out of frame. I'm sorry, guys. And so we're just going to do this basically don't worry if you think you look like a raccoon i promise you you won't as long as you stick to that one specific area because this is what we call a smoky eye and at the end of the day it's gonna look sexy you're gonna go ahead and use the smaller brush the really tiny brush that i mentioned and we're gonna go in with the deeper shade that we use. So in this case, is this guy right here. And this is gonna go just at my lash line. It's gonna go right here. And you just kind of like you know look back and forth see if you make you see if you got the colors where you need them to be i feel like i could add more on this side so i'm just gonna do a little bit keep on going and add more um shades if you want so like for instance from here you can add like any of these shimmer shades right here and just add it like on the lid or you can go ahead and leave that like lid space open because I kind of like that look sometimes and just add on like a shimmer shadow if you like um, I'm gonna use like this pinker one I'm going with this pink one and just add that to like your inner corner I just like this just to give yourself like a pop of color a pop of glow 
and this was going to make the look like you know cute by adding a little shimmer shade right there what i like to do too is add that same highlight that i have on my cheek right on top of that as well and i'm gonna make it glow even more there we go so i'm gonna go ahead and put on my lashes and um yeah i'll be right back i just put on some very natural lashes these are from kiss just some kiss lashes I have behind in the style shy and then I curled them up with the eyelash curler so they can be a little bit lifted but yeah so this is the final look techniques that I showed you is basically can be used on any palette any type of look or anything it's just you just have to keep in mind of the tools that you're using as well as the colors you're using and then um, it's going to you know, the more you practice, the better blended it'll look. So we'll show you how to blend colors because that's a whole different thing. You have to kind of keep in mind of a lot of different situations. So I will definitely do that. Practice blending your shadows in this way. And I promise you, once you have that down packed, we can break these rules and be able to move on to better not better, but like different techniques. I hope you guys learned something new. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok and Twitter. All diff all the same name, Madonna MUA. And um, yeah, that is about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next one.